Hey, I just wanted to share, just finished our family meal prep. And I get questions a lot on how I do it and how I decide what I'm going to cook and, and what we actually do. So I just want to take like a quick minute um, so that I can just hopefully answer some of those questions for some people if you're getting started. No, I want to say first of all, when I first started, I didn't do very much at all. Um, I maybe just cut up a little produce or hard boiled some eggs and that's perfect. Now, um, I do a lot more than that, but it's only just that's developed over years. So first of all, don't get overwhelmed, um, you know, with what I'm going to show you that we did or whatever. Uh, so how I decide is I plan out my week and to plan out the week, I look at our calendar first and foremost, and I look what nights are going to be, um, when there's like sports, you know, late nights that were out, I might need a crock pot meal or something that I can prep ahead of time. Just wait a sec, bud. Um, and have ready just to reheat or maybe um, we've got you know a dinner out with friends or a date night so I look at the calendar and then I look at what kind of meals I'm gonna need for the week and then um, so that kind of helps me know how to plan the second thing I do is I look at our um, our house our pantry and our fridge and our freezer and I see what we have food from the week before or food that's kind of just hiding out in the freezer you know chicken or beef or whatever it is that just needs to get used up and then I so um, I make my list of what my meal is based on what we already have and then the next thing I do is I either look at the sales uh, at the store I'm gonna go to um, or I look through cookbooks or I ask the family hey what's something we haven't had in a while and I fill out the rest of the week uh, with those meals and I kind of plug it in like this is a crock pot meal like I was saying or this I could make the taco meat before we went out and come home and we could just eat it up quick um, you know, heat it up and, and have everything ready to go or something like that. So kind of do that. And then um, I go shopping and I leave my menu a little bit free just in case um, sometimes like the other day they had, ha you know, packs of meat that were like half price just because they were like almost the sell by date or whatever. And so I bought some of those and I incorporated it into the week because um, it was a great deal. And, and that's being, you know, frugal with our finances to pay attention to that. So I kind of add, you know, leave a little flexibility or maybe I planned we were going to have, I don't know, eggplant parmesan and they didn't have eggplant. That's just an we don't eat that that much, but, um, you know, just an example, kind of leave it a little flexible for depending on, um, what the store has and what's a good deal and what looks fresh and, and that kind of thing. So I go shopping and then, um, I kind of write out what the food is going to be. So this will be backwards, but it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So, you know, Monday is going to be the chicken, broccoli, and cream sauce in the crock pot meal that we like. Tuesday is going to be tacos. Wednesday's meatloaf. Um, Friday is spaghetti pizza bake. Saturday is a date night out. You know, so I kind of write it out loosely, and I have this on the fridge. And then um, as the week goes, life happens, and I'm really flexible with it. So, you know, say something took longer at a doctor appointment, um, and I don't have time to prep that meal that night, I switch and do another meal. Um, yeah, yeah, almost done. Um, and so I just switch it from the week, but I have all the ingredients for those meals for the week. Now, often, um, you know, I plan even like a leftover night in there because I know we'll have leftovers from that. And when I get like three or four meals worth or two meals worth, depending on how much, we just pull it all out and say, pick what you want. And if you don't want it, you know, make a sandwich or something like that and real easy. Um, and then, so as far as breakfast and lunches, um, I eat a lot of eggs and I make like a egg and sweet potato and vegetable hash. So I prep the um the vegetables I roasted, the sweet potatoes, things like that, so that it's ready for me to just heat it up with the eggs. Or I have my Shakeology often for breakfast, um, or sometimes I have it as lunch, sometimes as a snack lunch. We are grilling up a whole bunch of chicken and steak uh tonight um to have for the week for our, our lunches. Hold on, buddy. Almost done. Um, and then, or also maybe just have leftovers from the night before. So that's pretty easy for me as a stay at home mom. Um, you know, I can grab stuff that we already have and take it for my lunches or reheat um, if I, you know, if we're going out or staying home. And so I, I pack up Brian's breakfast and lunches for him too. So um, what we did today, so then to get to the meal prep part and then I'll be done, is I make a list of what would be easy to have already done during the week. And for us, that's already, it's easy to have the hard boiled eggs already cooked because I love hard boiled eggs but I'm not going to take the time to boil them on a Tuesday and wait for them to cool and peel them but if they're already done and they're cooked and they're peeled I'll grab one and I'll eat it 
Um, and then we cut up a lot of produce because, you know, it's great to have a slave of celery sitting in there, but if it's not washed, it's not easy to grab and eat it. And then you, you kind of don't eat it and then it goes bad and you throw it out. Um, so we would try to wash up all our produce, uh, cut up cantaloupe, <laughs> Bradley, um, you know, cut up, wash the grapes, things like that to just make it easier during the week. And like I said, we're, we're cooking up um, the chicken and the steak to have for us. Sometimes I will make like salsa chicken to have for my lunches in a crock pot. You keep making a little, little... It's almost done. Almost done, almost done, almost done. Would you keep okay, what did you help make today? The grapes. You helped pull the grapes. The kids pull the grapes off the stems, um, and so they have them ready just to grab and go. Like when we're headed out, we can just grab them and go. All right, so I'm going to just show you my fridge. Um, it was noisy out there. That's why I came in here to do it. Um, but uh, anyway, whatever is convenient and easy for you. Sometimes I'll make like granola bars or something for the kids, depending on like what our week looks like, that kind of thing. So I'm going to just show you in the kit in the fridge really quickly um, some of the stuff that we did, so you can just have an idea, and then I'll let you go. All right. We turn it. Okay. So we cut, cut up some carrots and some celery and we just leave them whole because I use them in recipes a lot and it's easy just to have them there. That is some broccoli that was already cooked up that I'll be eating this week. Um, we have cantaloupe and grapes and some berries and strawberries in there. I packed up Brian's lunch to get it ready. We hard boiled eggs and then we processed a whole bunch of meat and so I have the meat that I'm going to use this week and we froze the rest and um, same with the chicken. Um, we did that. So and then some sweet potatoes and I roasted up some squash too. And I have this tail that I didn't get to, so I'm just going to do it in the morning. Um, but anyway, that I hope that that helps a little bit. That's just kind of like a brief. Oh, it's dark right here. I'll finish. Um, a brief way of how I kind of plan out the week, how I go shopping for it, and then what I do to prep um, on the weekends. Um, all the whole family took like a little job, and Natalie was doing carrots, the kids did grapes, Brian helped me with the meat, and you know, we kind of all just did it, and it took about an hour, and we have lots of healthy things to eat for the week. So um, let me know if that helps you, and if you have any other questions, I'd be glad to answer. All right, bye.